so you win you win uh, the you win uh, the, the first champs with your with your you know dynasty team. Yep. Um, and, and then, then it, it all went south. Huh? And then it all went south. It all went south. Okay. What what was it that that went south? Was it was it was it more of because I do remember. I remember seeing it from from an outsider's perspective, and just knowing I'm like I'm like holy shit we got to beat that team. Yeah. You know one of the 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 things that I that I that I give attribute to when it comes to like our success is that we were creating all this content and making us popular, mm-hmm. while at the same time being an underdog. Yeah. And everybody. That, that's what I think a lot of people don't understand is like obviously you guys are the clear favorites for almost every tournament now. But back then, you guys were the actual underdog for yeah. for two years, and I think that was a really cool story and a cool dynamic that that helped us grow our scene in yeah. general. So, all right, so let's let's go into that specific point in time. Let's talk about UMG Chicago, all okay. right? Because that's uh, that was the first tournament in Black Ops Two. <laughs> uh, the shove happened there. Uh, we we had I think at the time Matt had a had a girlfriend that was working for UMG yep. and uh, was she in charge of the brackets or was, was, was she was like their uh, like obviously Jeff owned it mm-hmm. and he was kind of like the overseer but yeah. she at the time was like the if admin? I gave her a tag it would be like general manager kinda, yeah just okay. of like the tournament director sort of um, but yeah so this was our first event with Krim uh, we had just won Frag Cup for the big online 25k yeah. thing Machinima. by Machinima yeah, yeah. Um, you have the trophy still? I do it's in my it's in North Carolina though yeah. it's a dope trophy I've never it's had one big, like right? it it's got it's grenades little in little it? gold grenades yeah. damn it yeah. <laughs> I don't know who designed it but they went all in yeah um, <laughs> Fwiz, Fwiz it. Who, or he'll take credit for it yeah right um, so we um, we won that we're going to Chicago and this is Chicago was probably a month and a half into the game um and we get to Chicago, things are great, we're feeling great. Um, and then first day, the PlayStations weren't, or the Xbox 360s weren't updated. Mm-hmm. So we're playing on pre-patch game. Um, so automatically frustrations kind of ensued for everyone. Um, and this, this I, in my opinion, is one of the like college events, college events in my personal career that has been like the highest like emotions involved because of just, Black Ops 2 was like the game that was blowing up Call of Duty. Um, and, you know, we wanted to win. Uh, but anyway, um, the game was pre-patch. Uh, the tournament format was kind of weird. And then, um, you know, we went through pools, went through the bracket. We ended up playing what would later be known as Impact in winter bracket semifinals. We beat them. And then, um, no, we lose to them. We go to losers. Um, you guys play them in winter finals. You win. And then we we beat someone and beat them, and then we get matched up with you guys in grand finals. And um, at the time, you know, we were assuming that uh, the bracket structure, because this is how it was, it was a continuation series instead of the reset to two best of five, which is standard today. It was continuation for who won the best series, or who won the first series would take that map count, continue it into best of 11, first of six wins. Yeah, Um, I'm already confused. (laughs) Yes, it's a lot of technicality. Uh, we win the first one. I think it was 3-1 or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there was like a big pause, a break between the, the grand final sets. And then um, that's when Matt's current girlfriend lets us know that it's a reset. It's not the continuation. Mm-hmm. Um, and we kind of, you know, in our heads, like we're getting pissed. Like, oh, this this rigged, it's right? Rigged, like, yeah. <laughs> it's his girlfriend helping him out. Um, and so uh, we go into the second best of five, you know, already frustrated, whatever. Uh, we play... We go end up going game five. It was that Express S and D, um, and we lost. And uh, Big Timer went off that map, and uh, he was using like we called it a pre patch foul. It was like the select fire made mm-hmm. it full auto. It was like godlike, had no recoil, and uh, and yeah. So we were automatically pissed. It was a lot of a lot of shit that was going on that just you know had us had us angry to begin with. But um, and then they won. Obviously they celebrated. That's in their right. And then. Uh, Nate obviously got a little, a little too animated for, for my liking. <laughs> he um, walks across, like crosses the, the still board. Still doing the DX, yeah. like, fuck you. <laughs> um, yeah, and like, I don't know. I mean, emotions were just high in general, but, but yeah, I walked over and like, I think I had started shaking hands, yeah. but then he was still doing this. I'm <laughs> yeah. just like, fuck, fuck you, you, man. Get out of my face. <laughs> um, Oh man, that and, was funny. And yeah, that that started that that started a lot. Um, I remember like as soon as that happened, like Jason Lake, who I was we complex at the time, yeah. but it was actually Jason Bass called me up and was just like, "Fuck, like what are we gonna do? Like yeah. this is this is a bad look." But um, yeah, so I had like a I posted my public apology. Um, but looking back, like. 
that was something that kind of, I don't want to say put Cod in the spotlight, right? It did. But like, I, I disagree. I think it did. Right. There was... This First was, time any tournament broke 20,000. For Call of Duty, yeah. Yeah. But, but also, it kind of gained a lot of attention outside of Call of Duty, which is something I think was, was good. Yeah, um, it needed. Yeah. Uh, so at the time, StarCraft, League of Legends, all were like super professional, trying to be like sports-level games. And I think we kind of introduced the, the drama aspect of Call yeah. of Duty. Um, we didn't go full gears, though. Right, right. Um, that's, you can't go full gears. That's, that's a different <laughs> world. Um, but we introduced the drama aspect and kind of showed light on all the personality that we had in Call of Duty. It was oh, just yeah. kind of like this growing game, this growing community with a fuck ton of personality. So many different players, um, just with brands, like young brands, obviously, but like a lot of different views on things. And I think, uh, you know, they say any PR is good PR, but... Um, Sometimes. Well, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, when, yeah. in that aspect where yeah. you're looking at a scene in general, yeah. um, it definitely put a big spotlight on our game. And, and I think it it uh, ended up helping. Obviously, I don't want to take any credit away from Nade, but, like, it helped him blow up, right? Yeah. Like, he became the the good, like, uh, the the good guy, the the super... Um, America's favorite gamer. Right, yeah. Like, right. Golden Boy coined him. Right, who got pushed yeah. <laughs> by this, this douchebag yeah. villain guy. Um, yeah, no, I think it was good for everyone, uh, and... Um, it just it just interested how it played out and looking back. Yeah. All right. So now let's. Uh, uh, from my perspective, as it happened, like I didn't even see. It wasn't even that. Like I saw what happened, and I was. Everybody was like, "Oh my god!" Everybody was alarmed, and I'm like, "What do people expect?" Yeah. You know, when somebody gets in, it, it, maybe it's because you know we have a lot of similar mindsets where, you know, common sense will always be the best thing that a human has. Yeah. And when somebody gets in your face, invades your space in a threatening manner or in a it, 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 trying to insult you. Right. You, you, there's no recoil. Like in my, in my opinion, like there's there's so a, a few things that you can do, and in the heat of the moment, you know, you guys yeah. just lost, so you guys are, you know, I didn't see it as a, as, as a big deal, and I, you know, and, and I remember telling Nate, I'm like, well, what do you expect? You got in someone's face. Like, yeah, yeah, I think, and and looking back, and I think a lot of people don't understand this is like me and Nate had known each other for yeah three four years now, competing against each other. Um, there was like a, a line of mutual respect. It wasn't like a. Yeah. Well, let's go square up out back kind of push. It was just like a look at the fuck out of my face. Yeah. Like, obviously you won good shit, but yeah. fuck, you're <laughs> annoying. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, 